Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of r &K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I was up at Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum in Colorado this week, and I got some great questions. And one of the questions was about embossing towels. So we're going to talk about that. And embossing a towel is when you're using the fluff in the negative space to become your design. So let's look at how we would put a letter on a towel and make it look really nice. So let's come up and the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come right here to my custom shapes and I'm going to left mouse click. I'm going to come down to my diamond. I'm going to grab the diamond. I am going to then come right over to my properties, left mouse click on the word transform so I can resize this and I'm going to make this a 5x5. Five five. Now I'm going to go ahead and select maintain aspect ratio because everything I do is going to be a perfect diamond so I will not have to type into both boxes every time. Now I will apply that. Now down here at the lower left hand corner you can see my copy paste icon. These are my selection tools. Now I'm going to come to tools. I'm going to go to preferences and if we left mouse click on the word view you're going to notice there is so show selection controls. You can have these show up outside your selection box or not. That is personal preference. But I'm going to tell you if you get used to having them here it really makes things much easier because they're what I call the one click wonders. Because I'm going to say OK because I'm keeping them. If I want to copy and paste this, I'm going to right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste. But if I come down here, all I have to do is with one mouse click, I have copy and pasted it. I'm going to change the color so you can see. So it automatically copy and pasted it and offset it. A lot of times when we copy and paste since it's right on top of itself, sometimes that becomes a problem because we'll stack something up two or three times because we didn't realize it pasted because it is perfect when you copy and paste. So now that I have both of these, I'm going to go to transform and now we're going to change this to a 4x4. Four four. I will apply. Now I'm going to go to my alignment tools right here on my top toolbar. I'm going to left mouse click and I'm going to come all the way to the end to the one that says, oh, I didn't select them both. They're not, notice they're not available. I'm going to have to select all items in my sequence view. Now when I click on my alignment tools, they're all active. See, all of them were grayed out before except for center in the screen centering to the rulers themselves. Now we're going to center the selected objects with them right on top of each other and them both selected. I'm going to come on over on my toolbar to the far right hand side to my paper clip. This is my combine tool. Now remember right now all we're working with is artwork and we can tell that because if you look in my sequence view it tells me. Kathy you're just working with artwork. So let's left mouse click on our paper clip and combine our artwork. So now what it's done is it has left me the border that I want. So now with this as artwork I'm going to come right down to my one click wonders along the bottom and remember my stars are my fills. Well I want to put a motif fill in here. I don't want a solid heavy fill because then when you get all this done your towel has got way too much stitching. All we need to do is mat down the fluff. So I'm going to left mouse click here and I want to pick a, a light fill. I'm going to come and I'm going to go up to 208. That is a light fill. 204 is a light fill. 221 is not too heavy. So we just want kind of a light covering. So I'm going to left mouse click on 208. I'm going to actually change it to a 6 millimeter pattern because I don't need it real tight. Now that I have this here, I am going to right mouse click copy. I'm going to right mouse click paste because I want it right on top of itself. And then I'm going to change this second fill over here in my sequence view. I'm going to change it to a steel stitch. So now I have bordered it inside and out. Now the reason I use my right copy right paste is because 
I wanted it exactly on top. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and come back to my custom shapes. I'm going to go back to that same diamond and I could put a different shape. Well, you know what let's do? Let's grab this crown. Let's try something that I hadn't planned. Let's make this crown a little smaller and let's go ahead and center the crown where it looks attractive. Because now that you've got a diamond and you're not putting an exact diamond in there, you want to make sure it's the same distance, but because of the spikes in the arc, you want it to visually look nice. You don't necessarily need it centered. So we want the nice visual here, and I kind of like that right there. Now that I've got this artwork in here, I'm going to come up to my true type fonts, and I'm going to left mouse click, and I'm going to select, um, let's see, what do I want to put? Let's just put an A. And let's, oh, let, let's say with this script. We'll stay with this one. I'm going to say OK. Now, it came in, and I'm going to go ahead and put this on my crown. Now, that's a little big, or my crown's a little small. Let's see what size our crown is. I'm going to come to Transform. Our crown is kind of small here. So let's make our crown... Um, we can't make it too big because we don't want it to touch the sides. Let's see what we're going to do. The crown may not work, but let's try it. Let's go ahead and make the crown two inches wide. Actually, we could probably make the crown two and a half. Let's try that. Let's apply that. Oh, no, that's way too big. Let's just bring it down. Let's go ahead and move it like this until... We can make it kind of large in the space, as large as we can make it. We can't do much better than that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take our letter. And I'm going to go ahead and put my letter in where it looks attractive. So there we go. Now I'm going to come in here and what I'm going to do is, this is all going to be fluff, right? It's all fluffing up. So I'm going to select the crown hold my control key, select my A, and I'm going to combine those. So now what's going to happen is it's going to be matted down here. It's going to fluff here. I'm going to select my crown, and I'm going to put a motif fill in there. And I'm going to make that 208 as well. I'll make it the same fill. I'll go ahead and make it that 6. I'm going to apply now we're going to do the same thing. Right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste, and we're going to add that little steel stitch around. Oh, now that's way too big. My letter's too small, so this crown is not going to work. So what are we going to do? We're going to select it all, and we're going to delete. Okay, so that didn't work. So we'll come right back to our shapes. We'll go with my original plan before I tried to get fancy with this. We would have had to make sure we sized everything to work that crown. So we're going to come to transform on this. This is going to be 3 inches. Apply. Now within this 3 inch, I'm going to come up to my lettering. Let's get that same A. Let's go ahead and let's size it because we can size it much bigger in here. Now I can select all of this and center center since it's all diamonds except the A. Now that A, notice it doesn't look right. It's centered because it's kind of got a curve here and a little leg out here, but it doesn't look visually attractive. It's not always about the mathematics. Sometimes it's about the visual. So let's select the A and let's go ahead and nudge it around using your arrow keys. Hold your control key down and use your arrow keys to nudge this around till it's visually attractive. See, that looks great before it looked off. Now I'm going to select the artwork. Holding my control key, I'm going to select the true type font. And again, we're going to come to our paper clip and we're going to combine. Now we've got the combine. Let's go ahead and come back down to our stars, our motif. Let's go back to 2008. Let's go ahead and change it to the 6. Let's apply. We're going to right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste, and I'm going to add that nice satin stitch around it.
So what's going to happen when you stitch your towel is it will mat here, it will fluff here, it will mat here, and it will fluff from the A. So it has a really, really nice visual effect. Block letters look really great. Now you could use any of the shapes, just make sure you've got a big enough cut out, you have a border, just like you saw our crown didn't work. But now if that crown was my big shape and I didn't go to all this, I could do some fun stuff. Let's try real quick. I'm taking up more time than I usually do, but let's come here. Let's go get that crown. Let's say I want to put this on a granddaughter's towel. And I could go ahead and make that crown nice and big. Let's look at transform. Okay, that's not too high at all or too big at all. Let's go ahead and make it a three height. With our maintain aspect ratio, we know it's going to stay. Now that I've got this, I could come in because now that this is three inches tall, maybe that's not because I would want at least an inch. Let's measure. Let's look at this. Now I'm fixated with the crown. Okay, this is an inch and a half. That'll work. So now what I'll do is I will go right here to my true type text and I'm going to come in and I'm going to type in uh, Dietza. It's one of my granddaughters. Let's put Dietza. Let's say OK. Now let's come in here and we'll make her as big as we can and center her in here where she looks good. Again, it's going to be the visual. It's not going to necessarily be what's perfect. So now that I've got Dietza in here, I can go ahead and combine. So I've combined them. Now, oops, I did not combine them. Let's get them all. Let's undo as our friend. There we go. Let's select all items and let's combine. So there we've gone. Now, notice these two pieces of artwork a little bit overlapped. So I'm going to undo. See how this looks like a solid piece of artwork? I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go grab the Z and I'm going to hold my control and get the A with it and I am going to nudge those over just a hair because I don't want it to cut those apart. So let's come on and nudge with our arrow keys. There we go. And then I might take my I, holding my control, get my T. Let's go ahead and move these a little bit this way. There we go. Now I like the way that looks better. So now I've got it all. I'm going to select all items and I'm going to use my combine. There we go. We punched Dietza out of the crown. So let's grab that crown. Let's go ahead and let's put in a stitch. Let's do, um, well, let's go back. We'll just go ahead and do something in here in our. So let's come in and let's see what else we've got in here that is going to be light because I don't want a lot of heavy stitching. Let's look through and see what we've got that I think would look, work good. Because remember, you don't want any of these that are really heavy stitching. We want something that's just going to mat it down really nice for us. Okay, let's try. Let's see what else we've got down here. Because DJ has put all kinds of cool stuff in here. Well, I like this one. Actually, the one right below it. I'm sorry. I'm it's one of those nights. There we go. So let's do that. Let's change this to a six. Let's apply that. Ooh, you know what? I bet I could change that maybe even to a seven because I don't want it too tight, but I don't want it so loose it doesn't help us. Okay, I've changed that to a seven. Now what are we going to do? Right mouse click copy, right mouse click paste. And this time I'm going to go ahead and put this um, satin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width of that. I don't need it to be so wide. Let's see how that works. That looks much better. But you get the idea. You could have all kinds of fun. Now this would mat your towel down, do a nice satin stitch around it, and then it would come in here and leave the fluff for the letters. And believe me, it doesn't look like a lot of room, but it will fluff. So there's another way to do it. So this is all about embossing. I hope you enjoyed this week's Project of the Week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great week.